This is a fascinating differential equation that you can solve using uh, the variation of parameters. And for that first step we have to figure out the characteristic solution that is the solution to the corresponding homogeneous case which in this case is y sub c equal to some constant c1 times the cosine of x plus another constant c2 times the sine of x. And to work out the particular solution y sub p, we need to draw information from the structure of the characteristic solution. Now the characteristic solution in this case is a linear combination of cosine and sine functions. So let me just mark out these functions. We're going to let the cosine of x be y sub 1 and the sine of x be y sub 2. And the structure of our particular solution should look something like the structure of our characteristic solution but instead of the uh, constants of integration c1 and c2 we will replace the uh, constants with functions of x so c1 is replaced by u sub 1 where u sub 1 is a function of x times the cosine of x plus another function of x u sub 2 times the sine of x now this can be written in terms of our y's as uh, u sub 1 times y sub 1 plus u sub 2 times y sub 2. And that is not a very neat way to write u. So this is your particular, this is the structure of the particular solution anyway. And how exactly do you find out, uh, how exactly do you figure out the functions u1 and u2? Well for that you need the Ronskian. Now the Ronskian is a determinant where the entries in the top row are the functions y sub 1 and y sub 2 from the characteristic solution and their derivatives down here. Now y sub 1 was the cosine of x, right? So the cosine of x and here you have the sine of x and down here you have their derivatives. So that's negative sine x times the cosine of x. So all of this is equal to the... Uh, square of the cosine of x minus the uh, negative of the square of the sine of x. And these two negatives will cancel out giving us positives and so we have uh, 1, right? So that's the Ronskin. The Ronskin is 1 which is quite convenient. So anyway, to look for the functions u1 and u2 you have some formulae. So u1 is the negative of the integral of y sub 2 times whatever function is on the right hand side of your uh, differential equation. Now in this case that function is the cube of the secant of x. So just plug in that piece of information here, that's the cube of the secant of x, and you have to divide it by the Ronskian, which in this case is 1 anyway. So ignore it. And that's the uh, f that's how you figure out u sub 1, and for u sub 2 you need the integral of y sub 1 times, again, the same function on the right-hand side divided by the Ronskin, which is 1 anyway. And we're integrating with respect to x, of course. So now to plug in the information that we have, we know that uh, y sub 2 is the cosine of x. So the cosine of x times uh, the cube of the secant of x should yield the square of the secant of x and integrating will give you a negative tangent of x. So that is u sub 1 and you do not need the constant of integration in this case because you're looking for the particular solution anyway. And wait, I've just realized something that my y sub 1 was the sine of x. So I'm going to have to redo these calculations. So yeah, my bad. Uh, let me just erase all of this. So y sub 1, this was uh, the cosine of x, and the cosine of x times the uh, cube of the secant of x is definitely the square of the secant of x, and we're integrating with respect to x, and this integration will give you u sub 2 equal to the tangent of x. So yeah, thankfully I noticed that. So next up we're looking for u sub 1 because I figured out u sub 2 first. So for u sub 2, I need y sub 2. Uh, for u sub 1, I need y sub 2. And y sub 2 is the sine of x. So you can write this as u sub 1 being equal to a negative sign here. 
and you have the cube of the secant function, right, which is just a, a cosine raised to the negative 3 uh, of x times that sine function here. Now, this is pretty easy to integrate because you have the cosine function and you have its derivative if you uh, place the negative sign here instead of outside the integral. So here you have uh, the cosine of x raised to the negative 2 and you have to divide by negative 2 as well. So that means you have negative secant square of x divided by 2 and that is u sub 1. So now to incorporate all of this information into our particular solution. So the particular solution was u sub 1, which is in front of me, the negative of the secant square of x divided by 2, times y sub 1, which was the cosine of x, plus u sub 2. u sub 2 is, uh, what was u sub 2? I think that was, yeah, that was the tangent of x times uh, y sub 2, which is the which is the sine of x. So... Uh, the secant square, uh, the square of the secant of x times the cosine of x is definitely just the uh, secant of x, and you have the secant of x divided by two plus the tangent of x times the sine of x, and you can actually f uh, simplify this further to get uh, those answers you get from calculators and computer programs. So that should be the sine, uh, the square of the sine of x divided by the cosine of x. And the reciprocal of the cosine of x is the secant of x anyway. So we have the, uh, sorry about that, you have the secant of x. And if you take the secant of x as a common multiple with a negative sign, and you also divide, you, have, you uh, factor out the 1 by 2 as well, you're left with 1 minus 2 times the square of the sine of x. And 1 minus twice the uh, square of the sine of x is in fact the cosine of 2x. So that is your particular solution and hence the complete solution to your differential equation is c1 times the cosine of x plus c2 times the sine of x minus the secant of x divided by 2 times the cosine of 2x. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you. See you next time.